Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with another episode of our Bears franchise. A little scouting to do. And I also have to see if there's any draft story. So at the end of the season, what I'll end up doing is going back through the first parts of the season. We'll look at the draft stories. Uh, from the draft stories from there, we will then... Uh, I'll then make a list and kind of put down what draft stories are here. Garrett. I think we look at the Chiefs. And then from there, we'll kind of see what we have in our draft stories, what we can reach, things like that. So we already looked at Jarrett. Uh, for right guard, I don't think we have really a need maybe, but I think we do need some depth. I think at quarterback, getting and drafting a new quarterback in the later rounds might be something we end up doing. I mean, these guys will fall. I think Drudge out of Alabama is a third first rounder. Greg Dixon will likely fall. He's an improviser. So we'll kind of see, we may end up drafting a quarterback. You never know. Never know what we might do. So I'll tag him because we haven't got him. We're going up against Tom Brady. We're having Mitch on a very tight leash going into this one. We'll have to see what ends up happening. Kind of see. We're going with those. We're going with their whites. Okay. So our superstar X factors here. Mac. They'll have Mike Evans, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Levante David, Allen Robinson, Chris Godwin, Shaquille Barrett, Cordell Patterson. For the injuries, I do want to look at the injuries before I do start this game. I have been kind of neglecting that lately. Uh, we're without Robert Quinn. That's right, for five weeks. So that's not going to be helpful for us. It's like Logan got injured. He's put on the IR. We're not going to see Rashad Jones. It looks like Franklin as well got injured. This PCL tear is likely a COVID exemption. So here we go. Going in week five, we've struggled a little bit the last two games. We're a two-game losing streak. Not good games played by Mitch. The defense struggled as well. So. Generally, this is, would not be a good game to try to mount some kind of uh, turnaround right now because it is Tom Brady. This defense is one of the best run defenses in the league last year. It may take a hit from Rashad Jones being out. Passing wise, we could exploit some some things against their corners, but they got some good speed outside. This offense, though. The issue was really Jameis Winston. Has become here in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle. The biggest thing was actually getting our defense, so we're gonna put it out there first. Miller's going to kneel that. Tom Brady. Let's 
It's going up against Fuller, and Fuller drops the pick. We're going to see a bit of the rookie Gibson out there. We're bringing the heat, baby. That's right. They did land at uh, Leonard Fournette too. Good tackle there by Lee Jackson. Oh, and good play there by Buster Scrine. Alright, Mitch. Your job to lose. Tight leash here. Tight leash. You look good in week one and two, but did not look great last couple of weeks. I just want to say to Cohn in real life that he tore his ACL. Just bad luck for the Bears all around. I really love Tariq Cohen. Hopefully he comes back better than he was this year. But it's crazy he's not going to be involved in this Nick Foles offense. Riley Ridley. Good catch there. The dev upgrade. We're going to see a little bit more of him. Get a blitz, blitz. I did not like that at all. I did not like the look. Ah. I got to flip that next time. Cole Komet put a body up, baby. A rookie on another rookie. Ant, uh, what was that? Antoine Woodfield Jr. And there it is. Three Cohen out of the backfield. And that's a good a good throw by Mitch. Out of the tackle box. Throw it away. Throw it away. Blitz, blitz, blitz. You want to check it out. Make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Flush to his right. Touchdown, Bears. And Mitch is going to run for it, baby. Oh, yeah. He 
bitch ain't gonna do that backflip. Get out of here. That's a Tariq Cohen thing. Come on. Really, that drive was put together by a third down conversion by Cole Komet. One thing I am going to do is I did forget to change this between episodes is I want our sub package linebackers to be Deion Bush, like what it is in real life. Uh, not because of anything against our man there, but I really feel that Deion Bush gives us the best in box play. Tight window out to Mike Evans against Jalen Johnson. Draw the sack. I don't know who got there. Who got there? Looked like the pressure was up the middle. Maybe Akeem Hicks. Akeem Hicks on the double team right there. Gets in. The big man. Fighting through. They had max protect. They even brought Gronkowski in to protect there. And that's just a good play there because EJ is filling that gap. Just does not get there fast enough. Do a little man coverage. Wow, and Roquan! We don't stop him. He reached over for the first down. Roquan had a good hit there. Leonard McCloy there. Deion Bush with the blitz. Come on, you got to make that tackle, EJ. You got to make that tackle, baby. The tight. Coverage with Duke Shelley there. It's going to end up being a middle field open. Or no, middle field closed. Formation is middle field open. Good tight coverage there. Saving the tackle there. Saving the touchdown. Mac is wide open, but just no. 
Everyone has their back turn there. Not a great defensive stand, but we made Brady actually convert a couple third downs and just could not get off the field. Nowhere to go there. For the hard. Ooh, Charles Leno is down. That's going to bring out Hambone. Hambright. On the left side, I think. Oh, no one picks up Shaquille Barrett. And Mitch just under pressure cannot get an accurate throw there. And he, Eddie Jackson's there. Keep up the pressure, baby. Keep up the pressure. And there it is, Khalil Mack off the outside, baby. All right, let's pin our ears back. Get, get some good rush. Oh, and stood him up. That's a, that is short. That is short. That's a good play by Gibson. Wow. And there's White. There's nowhere to go there. Good coverage there. By Anton Winfield. We can get anything up to see him here. Nope. Trying to allow him to make a play there. Miller. Can't get there. Three and out. Yeah, unfortunately we have running in the kicker off. So, it kind of goes both ways, but the issue is running into the kicker's broken on field goals still, I think. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get the ball back there. Oh, wow. What kind of move was that? You got jokes. And there it is. Good play there by EJ. You're not going anywhere, man. Right, that's 
high third down. Just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Shotgun now for Brady. And there it is, Danny Trevathan up the middle. We're going to go down to the two minute warning here. All right, Mitch. And dropped it. There's nothing Mitch can do right there. You got to make the play. I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. And there it is, Riley really coming up big. And Miller goes up for the ball. Let's go. Middle field is open. There it oh come on, A Rob. This was Sean Murphy bunting in coverage. You gotta catch that. Mooney's on the right. Cohen. Oh, he said as he threw that, so it came out fluttered. Kind of came out and fluttered a bit. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks. But you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. He can run for it and he wins. Ah, I didn't get it. Are you high? Are you high? No! You do not go there. You take the points. What? Take the points. Eddie Pinheiro on now for the Bears. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Fuck, I missed it. Oh, no, I didn't. Woo! I thought I just shanked that. That and we get the ball back. We could go up ten points just like that. But still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. They'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. Mike Evans of the Tampa offense about to set up shop. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe. I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, it's not even a question for me. Good play there. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's going down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. 
Another good play by Fuller this time. Big tackle there. Knocked out of Gronk's hand. Crazy, crazy game, but. Vikings take on the Seahawks. It looks like the Packers have a bye week this week. Along with the Lions. Okay, here we go, baby. Can Mitch give us a 10-point lead? Just cannot work outside there. We've had some tight windows to really Do I really want to do this? No, I don't. I do not want to do an RPO there. Flag. Holding probably. They like what they did in the first half. That okay. But in order to get the situation that you just talked about, on Jermaine Fetty. Change your tendencies, try to hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Ooh, he got close to it. Good decision there by Mitch. There it is, David Montgomery. I wanted to take a shot there, just did not see it. I got a high point that you That was just a bad decision. Check the seam here. Like anything downfield there. Oh God. Oh wow, they left Ridley wide open. Come on. I took a shot. I took a shot there. 
Just had to. Oh wow. Fournette just went right through that. Good tackle by uh, by uh, Mac. Oh, he's short. He didn't get it. He got tripped up trying to cut it back. There it is, baby. Wow, just Jimmy Graham lost side of the ball, I guess. Didn't even go for it. Come on. You got to make a move there. Got to go second level, but just could not get four. That's a good, uh, that's a good one. Go it away. Inept. Oh, I thought it hit me right in the back. Oh, I, was, I was going for the catch. Oh, and that is in coverage. Buster's playing a good game right now. Oh, that's a good throw. Got a flag there. Bush, good tackle. Holding? Oh, that's going to come back. I think the only reason we're taking this game right now is because of the player defense. Nope. That's a blitz. And that is his hole. His gap. Dude, our run defense is playing so well right now. We're going to bring the heat, son. And Gibson with a good open field tackle. Uh -huh. 
What little remains here in this Thursday night matchup? We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Their defense got to stop first and punt, and then they start to move the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Do the life formation with Montgomery. Field closed. Come on, Mitch. You can't miss that throw, baby. Come on. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. It's going to be second down. Three down, three down. That should have been a pick six. Again, it's our defense. That's it. That's the one throw I did not, I should not have made. That was just a bad decision on my part. Wow. That's some momentum there. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Like I said, it's the defense that's holding this together right now. And he drops it, Mike Evans. Looks like the throw is a little bit too low. I don't know that you can go for this. But I know that you want to. Right? You know that they want to say, hey, let's go for this. We got the perfect play drawn up. Let's do it. But I wouldn't go for it either. I agree with you totally. You only down one score. Punt it. Let your defense let's go. pick you up. Let's go. Let's go. And that's it, guys. We are with a 46 completion percentage. It's just not enough. It is just not enough. And out will take the offense is Nick Foles. Out will march Nick Foles to run this offense. It's a good pass, too. And there it is! Falls on target! Allen Robinson. This offense is already clicking much better. Short here with 
Third down coming up. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Now Foles. Oh, and Holtz got lit up there. Holtz got lit up. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch. Take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So they get the Not one that you could really say, hey, it's a bad throw, bad decision or anything like that. Holtz was just there and just got lit up. Good play by the defender. Roquan. I'm McCoy. Ray's gonna throw it away. We got a flag though. In the Holding look like on Matt. Uh, are you serious, dog? Oh yeah, I'm serious. You were looking to throw. You were right you were hugging so Leal. Going a little blitz. Ah, oh, did one hicks. There it is! Dion Bush! Forcing! The bad throw is Khalil Mack! Brady just forcing that one. Missed his target. Just missed his target there for Mike Evans and Dion Bush. And there it is, Foles. Good throw. End zone. Let's go, baby. This is a completely different team with Foles out there. It's funny because in real life, it's a completely different team with them out there, too. Jalen Johnson. We've dialed up some blitzes, and Brady just hasn't been able to handle it. We're going to go a little man coverage. Most of the time, I think we're going to go man coverage. What a good move. That is a good move by Godwin. Jesus. How many moves does he have on that route? He had like three moves there. Bamba don't break, guys. Bamba don't break. Here we go. Brady now on first down. Quickly to Grand Coulson. That's caught. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Bamba don't break. Good coverage. Almost 
picked off by EJ. Should have been picked. Roquan with the blitz, forcing him to throw it. And the receiver slipped. There it is, baby. We need a first down now. That pretty much seals it. Nick Foles comes in. And just this team is a different team. Those four for four. That's something we need to do better as a team as well. Closing out games. The defense was the difference maker here. And that's it, baby. We beat Tom Brady in the Bucks coming into Chicago in a Thursday night game. Mitch does score one touchdown on his feet, throws two interceptions. And we went from there to Nick Foles. As for a starter, who will be the starter for week six? Only time will tell. Not a great day. We should have ate a completely destroyed this team in the passing game. Left a lot of yards in the field. A lot of yards on the field. Mitch went 12 of 26. That's, that's just unacceptable. Did get one touchdown rushing, leaving Mike Evans. EJ gets 10 total tackles. Tackles for loss there. The sacks, Mack with two. Grantham with one. Shaquille Barrett with one. The interception by Deion Bush. Mel Dean and Jordan Whitehead. Just not a great game for Mitch. 12 of 26. That is not great. Travis Gibson gets an upgrade here. And I think I want to do his... Power, maybe? Maybe overall block shedding. Let's see if we can get him to be... But, well, awareness, power moves. Let's get his power moves up. He is a rookie, so he got Tulsa. So, next week against the Panthers, we are 3 and 2. Receiver's not happy with the game plan. Allen Robinson. 
Yeah, so we're going to get Allen Robinson more involved. We're going to emphasize the pass game with this. Against this team. Five touches or 100 plus yards. Got to take on Christian McCaffrey, guys. That's going to be one that's going to be different. And, well, not really different than Saquon Barkley. And we cut Barkley out of the end zone, but that is a very inept Giants team. This is a team that is very good on offense with him. So, all right, guys, I will end this episode here. Thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe so you miss any more of our Bears franchise. Week six, do we make a trade before week eight? Do we change quarterbacks? It's going to be the topics for the next episode. Now we'll see you guys week six. Later.